Hi folks, we are at the Dimino Garden in Lockport. The Dimino Garden is on the tour of the Open Gardens as well as uh, Lockport in Bloom. This is a magnificent garden. With the permission from the owner, Anthony and Barbara, let me take you on a walkabout. We are at the front yard, front garden of the Dimino Garden. There's a uh, incredible display of the day lilies. It's just breathtaking. The day lilies, they're just so lovely. But I have to warn you, they can be quite addictive. Once you get into the daily reward, it's hard to stop. So I was told by Anthony, uh, they want to make their garden extra colorful. So not only with the daily lace and other flowering perennials and annuals, they have utilized different garden arts, garden containers to introduce additional color into the garden, which I'll be showing you in a few minutes. Another interesting theme that uh, they have been incorporating into the garden is the dragon. So you will be able to spot many, many wonderful dragon scene garden art throughout this garden. And uh, pay attention, you'll be surprised. Look at the display of the day there. I have to remind you, uh, they are in a, like a suburban setting uh, area in Lockport, which means they have deer. So they really have to adopt a series of a strategy to protect all those beautiful and precious blossoms from the, from the <laughs> animals. incredible view with the daisy, the daylilies, and other uh, specimen tree and foundation plant. So let's delay no further and uh, uh, approach the backyard, which is an even more stunning display of color and uh, interest. The lilies are in full bloom. I wish you can smell them. It's so fragrant. More lilies. So as I was told, and this is something new I just learned today, those very tall, uh, savory color foliaged plants, you may think they look like sisal. They are sisal. This is the Scottish uh, sisal. As I learned today, people in Scotland used to plant them along the perimeter of their property, using them as fans because they are really, really uh, <laughs> a spiky. And it'd be hard to get through them without uh, more than just a little suffering. So they would work as a fans and uh, the owner here planted the Canadian sisal, not the Canadian sisal, this is the Scottish sisal here uh, as an effort to prevent the deer to entering the yard. Now we are entering the backyard.
This has always been a very popular attraction on the tour of the Open Gardens. And the gardener uh, here, Barbara and Anthony, they just have so much, so much passion in gardening. And they're so willing to share their knowledge and let everyone experience the beauty of their garden as well as the joy of gardening and garden sharing. A lot of container planting on their patio. They have the passion, passion flower, I believe. Passion flower blooming right now, which looks like a plant from maybe Mars. A stunning display. Just so colorful. You see, this is, this is what I meant. In addition to the color of the daylilies and other flower, the, the umbrella, the patio, bistro set, the containers, they also contributing to the colorfulness of this spectacular garden. And uh, the, the, the gardener here at the Dimino Garden is a supporter of the Garden Arts Center. Uh, by Gardens Buffalo Niagara. You might be able to sport more than a few uh, items that was uh, available at our Garden Art Sale. third manorganite, which is a fertilizer. Yeah. Right. One third barely complete, which is a st stomach that takes care of the red beetle. Ah. And uh, well, one third of the I don't do do that. April, May, June. Always the first week. Absolutely. So yeah. Okay. Anthony, I think you have a daily problem. I <laughs> uh, do you think so? <laughs> it has become an addiction, right? <laughs> We're definitely addicted. But yeah, they're so lovely. Once mm -hmm. you get into the, the world of the daily, you cannot get out anymore. Everybody asks me what my favorite is. There is no favorite. Yeah, There's right. Everyone, everyone's right. beautiful. So you just went to an auction, you mentioned, right? I did. How many daily did you get? Uh, close to nine hundred. Okay. <laughs> yeah, show us. The from chair. every, I've got them from uh. from seven different states. Oh, I see. From, yeah. I've got them from California, uh -huh. uh, Florida, Louisiana. Wow. Uh, Maine, uh -huh. Pennsylvania, uh -huh. New York. So. Yeah. Everybody, you know, the, the auctions are based on mm -hmm. ge ge geography and you'll get... Uh -huh. So I've been planning... Another for area for the day lily. Yeah, on this stunning. So, so you have different variety that bloom like uh, over like a longer period of time or they all bloom at the same time? No, there's, there's some late uh -huh. ones, there's some early ones. Uh -huh. Wonderful. Okay, show us the... How do you call this area? This is my woodland patio. Woodland patio. How many chairs do you have? Uh, <laughs> More than 20, I guess. Yes. So you have large gathering here? We right? have, a, we have a, a nice, uh, we have, uh, I have 10 grandkids, so. Oh, okay. Big family. So you need all those chairs. <laughs> but this is very nice. We are in the shade and uh, with the hosta and also the elephant ears but uh, with the color from the container as well as the chairs, it is just stunning. More container planning with the dahlias and uh, garden arts. This is another garden area dedicated to the dragon. You might recognize this uh, dragon garden arts item made from repurposed old tiles, yeah, which is available at our garden arts sale.
gargoyles and other uh, garden decorations. Again, we are at the Dimino Garden in Lockport, which is featured on the tour of the open gardens by Gardens Buffalo Niagara. Uh, the Dimino Garden is also a participant of the Lockport in Bloom, the garden work in Lockport area. Cliff hydrangea, and uh, this would be two different variety of the smooth hydrangea, a wide variety, and now we have a newer pinkish variety of the smooth hydrangea. It's a, such a clever strategy to put the pink and the white together; they complement each other. Another shot of the very colorful uh, patio area, which is for the grandkids. You see David, you see color, you see garden arts at every turn of this garden. And we also have a pond. It's a more interesting dragon scene garden arts. So we, now we are going into the other side of the yard. And, uh, the fragrance is just so pleasant. We have the fragrant lilies as well as the fragrant butterfly bush with the elongated purple flower. And more lilies. People describe this as a ditched lily because they are particularly robust and we just be happy just about anywhere. And you usually find them in the ditches. But they're still lovely. Something smells very fragrant here. Again, we are at the Dimino Garden. It's on the open gardens in the Niagara Trail group in Lockport. This is a spectacular garden. If you haven't been here, visit. See the beauty. Be amazed. Enjoy.